Hi, my name is Stephen Han from Archery Supplies. I'm about to go up in poundage, so I'm setting up a brand new boat. So, first off, I want to explain why I'm setting up a new boat. This is my existing boat. Um, so, same brand, same limbs. The other one's a little bit heavier, right? So, two pounds heavier. I've got different setup, which we're going to go through. But I'm happy with the way this one shoots. I'm shooting really, really well with it. So. I'm going to leave this as is, so I'm not going to touch it, I'm not going to stuff around with stuff. So, but I want to go up in strength, okay? So I'm going to set up a new bow, and I'm going to train with that, and I'll alternate with training. So I'll train half the time with this and half the time with the other, and try and build up more strength. Because if I build more strength, it's going to help me with that bow, right? So I want to build strength, I want to build up. Now, people are going to say, look, there's 12-year-olds and 13-year-olds uh, in this state, 13 and 14-year-olds who kick your ass and they shoot 30 pounds. And absolutely they do. There's two of them. They kick my butt. And why do you need to go up in poundage? It's because I want to. Okay? I feel that the release is cleaner at the higher poundage. I feel like my form is more critical at the higher poundage. So if I lift this shoulder, I really feel it. So, and I like the feeling of the extra poundage. I just feel using my muscles, building muscles, it feels good. It feels good to me when I exercise and when I build up and when I become stronger. So that's why I'm doing it. So I'm going to run through this setup and what I've put on it. Um, I haven't shot it. We're going to shoot it and see how it shoots. And we're going to go through all those things. So these are Titan FX, Titan limbs. Fivix produce a whole bunch of limbs. These are some old ones which I shot before. Um, this riser was second hand. Um, I'm going to say the customer, I'm, go, I'm not going to say didn't like it, he thought it was not good, so we're going to see that. Um, now I decided to fit Scatty stabilizers and I was like, oh, do I want to go cheaper? Do I want to go more? And I was like, well, I own an archery shop and I didn't go away to the national. So I saved a few thousand dollars by not going to a national. So maybe I'll put the expensive stabilizers on. So we're going to compare that because when I did the review on these stabilizers, they did feel better. So now I don't have as much weight. These are only three ounces. My current ones have probably around seven on the back here. Um, the Scatty stabilizer here only has four at the end. My current one is a Bida V Box with um, some weights at the end, so probably about seven, eight ounces at the front. Um, the V Bar is the Fivix V Bar. I currently use a Carbon Win and Win V Bar. This is interesting. So I was like toying up with stuff with this. This is the extender. This is the Scatty extender, it's metal. The other one I was shooting was a win and win that's carbon. And the first thing I thought when I saw this, I was like, well, this is a bit cheap. Um, and Fivix will hate me for saying that, but it's a bit cheap, right? It's a metal as opposed to carbon. And then one of the top shooters in the state said, this is actually better for your extender to be more solid. So I was like, well, let's try it out. It is expensive for a bit of metal, okay? But what happens here is everything fits nice and flush and it looks looks pretty good. I made a string last night for this bow so it matches the riser um, and this is yeah a string I made um, which is the same as the other string I made and that string's over a year old um, might be a year and a half old and it's like fine. Now the most common question I'm going to get is what's your brace height and I've got no idea okay so I think I did measure it last night about eight and a half but Everyone worries about everything rather than worrying about their archery, and I can't stress that enough. Fivix sight, I thought, look, this is a really good sight. It's got dampening and dampening, so we'll shoot this and see how it goes. I, I fitted a Bida plunger. I thought about fitting the Fivix plunger, but I didn't have black. I fitted the Fivix RS rest. Now, I did have some different colors, and I thought, well, I'll fit red because a lot of my theme is red. And I normally have some spots of red on the bow, so I was like, but I think that probably looks silly on the colours. The RS, um, the RS, our RS doesn't come in green, so I did think about a green plunger, but I think the black kind of looks good. So my colour theme, green, and then basically keep the rest of it black. Um, I don't know how it feels to shoot. We're going to try it now. I haven't shot it. 
I'm just doing this straight, straight out of the, straight out of the box basically to see how I feel. I haven't shot these arrows. Oh, the plunger, the clicker is a win and win um, ARC carbon clicker, which I like. I normally go for the one with the bend. This time I'm going for straight. No real reason. Um, I kind of wanted to compare the difference between straight and curved. I've been very happy with curved. Um, I haven't shot these arrows yet out of this sort of setup, so I don't know how it tunes. We're going to trial that. I'm fairly close to the target at the moment, right? So don't, when you're trying stuff, don't go back to big distance. Just go close, see how stuff feels. Um, so first off, that bow feels very light compared to the other one because the other one it's the same bow but I've got an extra probably 12 maybe 15 ounces on the other one so this bow feels a lot lighter it's interesting the bow feels feels really good now when I choose a new bow, I was thinking about going for something flashy like the um, Win and Win ATFX Deluxe because I think that looks a bit flashier than the Fivix. No disrespect to Fivix. Um, I would really like Fivix to have uh, flashy two tone colours in here, and I've discussed that with Fivix. Look, I think people buy flashy stuff not because they shoot better with it. It's just, look, this is the thing they do, so they like something that looks pretty. And I've said that before in videos, people want stuff that looks pretty. So I think if Fivix, look, I'm happy with the graphics, I think they look great, I think the limbs look great. I just think if they colour this, like these gaps in, and it would look awesome. I really like the feel of the Fivix riser to shoot, and because this riser and that riser are the same, it's going to be the same hand position. So basically no learnings required. So theoretically, I'll be able to just move from one to the other with, you know, basically won't be able to notice the difference. I did think about the putting tungsten weights on these and I didn't just because today's today and I just grabbed this stuff out the shop when I left. Okay, now those two grouped. Go off to the left. Now what you want is a bear shaft. Now I thought I had one, but let's go and grab one and see where it's. Yeah, this is coming loose here. I didn't tighten them up with an Allen key. I just tightened them up by hand. So let's just hit it with an Allen key. It's a bit annoying when it comes loose. Look, I I don't know how this is going to shoot. I don't. I haven't done any basic tuning. This is me just starting off. Okay. From here, I'll go back in distance and see how I shoot with it. Um, I'll do some minor tuning. And that's basically experimenting with the plunger tension um, to see if I shoot better groups with it tighter or lighter. It's just. For me, it's just trial and error. I just like to see if I like the feel of stuff. Is that coming loose again? But... Look, that's pretty good. Um, let's go have a look. So down here, you can see the arrows are kind of grouped together, kind of, not like they're close. One vein sort of got torn off. But look, they're close enough. That to the left, so what we're gonna do, we'll move the sight, go back a little bit more and hopefully get back to 18. Look, I'm pretty happy with that. It feels, the bow feels good, there's no vibration. It's one thing with the Fivix, I get no vibration in the shooting end, and I feel like I'm pushing Fivix because I'm a dealer for Fivix, but I'm also a dealer for all the other brands as well. 
the bow the bow is meant to be a softer material than a lot of the others as a result it's meant to have less vibration coming through it and I think that's exactly what I feel it could be the stabilizers are better than the fornixes that I normally shoot but it feels really good very happy um, so let's go back and sort of see how it goes okay so I'm not fully back at 18 I'm probably about 15 meters um, but that's okay to, to kind of do this and see see how I shoot um, now when you change gear it sometimes takes time to sort of settle into it um, there's the two Fletchers they'll shoot fine um, look I'm finding the clicker just as easy as the curve to load no difference so that's good change my side and the arrow went up really high so let's make this change um, so that's good um, the Fivix side I like it's like you've got a little ball bearing on it so it locks into place I like that now with this site I'm just using the normal Fivix sight pin that comes with the sight and I'm interested to see if I shoot any different scores between this and the normal pin I shoot with the fiber optic pin in the center I think it's mainly in your head so I'm interested in testing this to work when I'm not I'm not going to shoot fair sharp just yet we're going to get this bow a bit more sighted in first Now the other day I was shooting with one of the Australia's best archers, Daniel from Queensland, and I noticed his elbow position changed between one of the shots in heights, and we've been having some discussion with this. I noticed with me coming back from surgery, my elbow is lower. And it could be because when I came out of surgery, it hurts to raise my arm. Um, ideally, I kind of like my arm parallel with the ground. Um, if not a little bit high and then I'm moving the shoulder sort of down to take the shot. I don't even mind this Fivic sight. I've kind of gone through this before. Look, the sights are a little bit harder to read than some of the other sights. There's a fair bit of wind here. I feel like the camera's about to get blown over. Um, I like the Fivix sight. It's not that I dislike the XL because that's not the case. The XL is an amazing sight. It's just, I was like, for this, for a spare bow, this sight will do perfectly fine. Um, so originally I had a Fivix sight. I actually think Fivix gave me a Fivix sight. Um, no, I gave it to a junior in the state. Uh, he broke his because he was stuffing around with it. Uh, <laughs> very good shooter. Almost won the national championships last week. Missed out by four points. Um, should have won it by a long way, but that's okay. Um, so that's what happened to my Fivix site. But um, I was like, look, they're a good site, so let's put another, let's put it on this boat. very interesting when you shoot compound versus recurve it's very windy today very windy um, you get blown around a lot less with a recurve than a compound because you're holding like with this bone be holding 52 pounds I guess Where with the compound, you're holding, oh, this is a bare shaft, so we might as well shoot this and see where it goes. 
hopefully it's not too bad. Um, with a compound you're holding, let's say you get back in your in your anchor point, you might be holding 18 pounds, so you just get moved around a lot. Saying that, I felt like I got moved around a bit then, but. So it's interesting, moving up in two pounds, I remember the first time I was going up in bow poundage, the two pounds really was a big, was a big ask for me, moving up two pounds at the higher end. So I moved up four pounds at the lower end, so you know, I went 36, maybe I went 34, 38, 42. Now I feel like I went 44, 46, 48. I don't think I've got 50. These are 46 pound limbs. Um, but I found as soon as I started going up, I was really pushing it. And that's why the two pounds, the two pounds was a lot. Now I never adjusted the limb, limbs last time, limb bolts. I just put in um, heavier limbs so that way I could go back. This time I'm not doing that because I want to tune these arrows because I think these arrows would be more tuned for the higher poundage. That being the Pandera CA320, so they're a little bit heavier than the Ice Point. So I think they'll be, I think they'll be better. But we will test that. The bow feels great. There's no vibration at all. one more and see how the group is then we'll go back to 18 and this is when I'm trying out new gear this is exactly what I do I sort of start off up close and there will be a little bit of tinkering and see what I see what I like the feel of or what I don't like the feel of so, now with my stabilizer these used to come loose so I put some plumbers tape on it Look, that one was coming loose a little bit then, so I don't know. I didn't put them on with an Allen key. I was just finger tight. Look, I just want to shoot one more. That one went dead in the middle. Now, I was shooting the Masters Games field last couple of days ago. And I was on track, I'm not, not sure what the national record is, but I was definitely on track for the state record to smash it. And I came up to bug size, which is short distance and the little targets, half the size of these. And I just released the pressure in the hand or whatever, and I just stuffed it. The rest of the round was good. Missed the record by like six points. And I had it by miles. And anyway, that's the way it goes. But I'm just trying to be clean. I'm just trying to, just trying to make good shots. That feels good. Let's go down and take a look. Okay, so I'm up at the target. That was the first side, and then I had this one out to the side here, and I moved my sight. So the rest of them, I don't know about this one here. The rest of them are pretty good. The bear shaft's okay, like it's to the left. Look, I'm not that flustered by that at all. Um, it's in the ballpark and that's where you want. I've got lots of arrows in the tent. So with that, what we'll do is we'll move back to 18. It means I'll just move the sight down a little bit and let's see what sort of group I shoot. Um, I haven't, I haven't, um, warmed up before shooting this video. I've just literally come home, bolted the stabilizers on, grabbed the arrows. Oh, people ask me which arrows, arrow puller do I like? Look, I really like these. These are very simple. They kind of rip, grip the arrows really well. And they're cheap. Like, I think they're about $7. They're super cheap. 
negative part of them is there's nowhere to basically hook them onto your quiver although you've got holes so you could just tie a bit of cord on and the cord gets in the way I just put in a little pouch where I put my finger tap so let's go back to 18 and see how I shoot I like the way this like click moves it's it's nice I kind of wonder if all these little dampeners Fivix built in here absorb some of the shock because rubber definitely absorbs shock there's no question about that Nothing's loose, it's all good. Um, I've done really, I haven't done, like I haven't done knocking points. I've tied knocking points on, but I haven't done any tuning or anything. I've just, let's go and shoot a video and let's discuss stuff. Look, yeah, I've said it in lots of videos, a lot of people get too caught up in everything rather than just going and shooting. Um, like, they're too caught up in their head rather than just going and shooting an arrow. It both feels really well, it feels quiet to shoot. Now I don't. The end's got the Fivix little dampener in it. When I put the bow down, it kind of bends in an angle, so that's, I assume that will eventually break. The Fivix dampeners have been really good. I haven't gone through any of them, but they will break after pressure and time. They're fairly inexpensive, like $25 each, so they're not like a Doinker or something like that. I'm gonna say they're a lot, not as, Sophisticated as a Doinker or an Axel or a Fighter V box. I can feel my front arm when I am moving around a lot more with less weight and it moves around a lot quicker. So when it moves off, it moves back quicker. So the more weight you've got, the slower the movement. So if you get pushed away off the target with wind and your bow's heavy, it's more work or slower to move it back into the center. It's much the sight picture and the aiming is a lot faster with a lighter bow. which gets back to practice and trying stuff. Well, that was terrible. So how have I, I'm not gonna shoot that one, it's a spare shot. So how have, been, how have I been shooting since surgery? Um, so I think like yesterday I shot an indoor score of 288 um, so that's my best since surgery uh, before surgery my best was 291 so I shot a 285 this week a 276 this week um, 278 this week so I'm shooting between the 280s to 270s indoor with Rico. And that's indoor outdoor. So I can feel a little bit of my sight pin. My sight pin is not as stable. That could be the weight of the bow that are causing me to shoot. Um, or it could be just the weight of the stabilizers. Because, or it could just be because it's windy. Because it's very windy. Now something came loose. You can hear it when stuff comes loose. 
So this, the stabilizer came loose. Again, I did it finger tight. You should probably hit it with the Allen key to tighten the stuff up. Always listen to your gear. You feel a vibration, something's probably coming loose, like these little things come loose and might pop out and you'll lose a little spring and stuff inside. I'm not getting the twirl I normally get. I think it's because I think my front hand's not good. It's all part of trying something new. I don't beat myself up on stuff, I just go do it. And... You're probably asking why I don't have the out second camera because the school holidays last week and one of my staff, one of the young boys, does prepare some of these videos for me and the camera's sitting on the bench at the shop where he prepared one of the videos last week and I just haven't brought it home because I haven't thought about it. It's out of sight, out of mind basically. Now, the bow, the weight of pulling the bow back, I'm starting to feel about now. Um, to start with, I'm going to say, yeah, look, it did feel a bit heavier, but I'm starting to feel it in my shoulder now. All through here. Um, one of my staff said, um, the problem with people when they go up in poundage is they often do blow their shoulders out. So... I think the key is you do stuff slowly um, and you don't push stuff when it hurts. Um, so like I can start to feel muscles in the back of my shoulder now. So with this, I'll probably go straight back to that bow after I shoot a couple more arrows here. I'll go back to the lighter bow, I'll probably have a little bit of a rest. Um, so why am I thinking about this? I've got a men's feeder coming up in a few weeks. Men's feeder is 90 meters with a recurve, which is really hard. I've only done it twice, I think, in my life. Um, and I've been shooting for 40 years. Um, and I thought, well, I shoot this bow for 90 and I'll shoot the other bow for 70, 60, sorry, 70, 50, 30. Um, so this one won't wear me out. I'll just, you know, 36 pounds with the head, sorry, 36 arrows with a heavier poundage and then drop back to the lighter poundage for the other distances. And you're probably going to say, well, you can shoot, you can shoot 90 meters with the other bow, and yes, I can. Um, I just think it's a little bit of more of an advantage at 90. More power and and I don't think, so I, I used to coach a young man uh, who was Australian champion. And before he was Australian champion, at the long distances, the other kids would kick his butt, right? But at the shorter distances, he would win, right? And it wasn't until he got stronger and built up and grew that he then won the bigger distances and won the shorter distances, right? So. I believe, it's just in my heart, in my soul, whether it's true or not, I just believe that it will give a little bit of a, a little bit more to me. And you can say, well, you should shoot some yucca limbs, which are even, you know, 20 feet per second faster. And I would say probably for 90 meters, that would be a big advantage. Um, I just didn't shoot as well as I did with the Fivix for whatever reason, whether the spine was wrong or whatever. And I didn't give it a big go. I only shot it, you know, on the video, but they are substantially faster. I 
think what happened was our shooting scores are about 270s with a win and win. And I grabbed the Fivix and I did a review on here and I shot a mid 280s straight off the thing. I'm like, there's my best and best first time I've shot the boat. Well that will I've been shooting Fivix ever since. It's like and in fairness, I haven't tried the new Win and Win or the Metas. I haven't tried those um, because I figured I'd probably buy one and then I'd bugger up all my training that I've been putting in. So I haven't tried one. I haven't done a review. But I think they are like I've had a shot and they're amazing with the bow. So let's go ahead and take a look. Now with the sight, with the sight pin, I get less of the target. There's more of it encapsulated in the picture, so there's more of the target blocked out, if that makes sense. So I can see less of the gold because the sight pin's smaller. Um, I'm finding, I'm not finding it hard. I think I prefer the other one at short distance. But I'm thinking at 90, I might, may prefer this sight pin. So we're just gonna run with it for a while and we're gonna do, you know, testing, testing, testing. So here's my group. Left and right, variation. Arrows out to the left is me doing this, pulling your hand away from your face. Arrows out here, this is me kind of releasing the fingers, the pressure. Um, so left and right is to do with release. Um, up and down is generally to do with um, pressure on the front hand. But up and down is pretty good. Look, I'm probably going to say you can shoot better, which is fine. Look, it's not, it's not horrible. This is the first time I've shot it. Um, as I sort of said, before, you know, in this video, I shoot scores around 270 indoors. Look, it's I've got a few tens there, and I've got a few reds. It's not a 270 score, but it's not bad. I feel like I would shoot better the more I shoot this, but I feel now I'm just feeling a bit of pressure in the shoulder, so I'll go back to the other boat. Um, so where do I take this now? Um, and when I go up in poundage, this is exactly what I do. I shoot a few arrows, and I come out tomorrow, and I'll shoot a few more arrows. I'll come out the next day and shoot a few more arrows. And over about two to three weeks, I'll build that number up, and then I'll shoot it at the club, and then I'll shoot bigger rounds at the clubs, and I'll shoot a tournament, and I'll build up to it. Um, but I'm not finding that horrible. Um, pretty happy with the way the arrow shot so things I've got to experiment with with this bow and there's a few things I would like to question to myself at 90 meters I like to question shooting light arrows something like a McKinney shaft something really light so so I've, I don't have the arc so I'm really questioning that um, questioning putting more weights on so I don't think there's any question I'm gonna add more weights because I can see the see the vibration so more weight on the stabilizers um, and that will maybe even tomorrow I'll add more weights um, and that's and I'll try the ice point arrows and the CA 320s see what shoots better then after that I'll experiment with the plunger tension I'll shoot rounds shoot scores and I'll try it more or less and see if the scores vary based on plunger tension um, that's what I do. So that's my whole sort of setup. Um, look, it's not bad for the first time sort of shooting. Happy with the bow. There's very little vibration. Um, but just you know, put the time in. That's I say. So I, I say it on every video. Put time in. The two kids who are kicking my ass are putting more time in than I am. They're probably shooting twice as much in, as I do. And maybe three times as much as I do and I just have to put more time in um, so people may say their forms better than yours and absolutely I would probably agree but more time more time more time more time and better results I'm Stephen Han um, from Archery Supplies thanks for watching